The number one reason you can't hack anything is you don't understand how networks work. You're running Nmap scans, but you don't know what TCP versus UDP means. You can't explain the three-way handshake, and you definitely don't know how routing works. Without this foundation, every tool is basically magic. And when something breaks, you can't troubleshoot. Learn TCP IP fundamentals, including packet structure and ports. Understand DNS because half of attacks involve DNS. Learn ARP because ARP spoofing is one of the easiest MITM attacks. Study how firewalls and NAT work because you need to know what's blocking you. A 2025 study showed 61% of hackers start before 16, but most flame out within a year because they skip networking basics. This isn't optional. This is the foundation everything builds on. You run Metasploit exploits, but can't explain why they work or what happens when they fail. Tools are useless if you don't understand the concepts. When your exploit fails, you need to know why. Is the target patched? Is your payload caught by any virus? Without understanding fundamentals, you're just clicking buttons hoping. Fix this by learning what each tool solves and how before using it. For Nmap, learn TCP flags and how port scanning works. For Burp Suite, learn HTTP headers, cookies, and sessions. For Metasploit, learn shellcode and how exploits work. Read documentation, not just basic usage, but technical details. This takes more time up front, but you'll progress 10 times faster. You're jumping between targets randomly trying exploits with no system. Professional testing follows a methodology. Reconnaissance, enumeration, exploitation, post-exploitation, reporting. Jumping straight to exploits without recon fails 99% of the time. Follow this process. Reconnaissance, gather info with DNS enumeration and OSINT. Enumeration, scan for open ports and services with Nmap. Exploitation, identify promising vulnerabilities and exploit them. Post-exploitation, escalate privileges and demonstrate impact. Documentation, write up findings and fixes. This isn't just for getting hired, this is how you actually succeed, because exploiting without recon is like robbing a bank without knowing if they have guards. Watching tutorials is not practice. You need hands-on experience compromising systems legally through platforms like Hack the Box, Try Hack Me, and Pentester Lab. Start with easy boxes and work up documenting what you learn. The goal isn't completing as many boxes as possible, it's deeply understanding attack chains. When you compromise a machine, ask why did this work, what would prevent it, and how would I explain this to a client? Bug bounty programs are excellent practice on real targets, legally. Hacking isn't memorizing commands, it's creative problem solving. You need to look at systems and ask, where are the weak points? What assumptions can I exploit? And what's the path of least resistance? When doing recon, think, if I were defending this, what would I miss? When you find a login form, think, what if I try SQL injection? What if I enumerate usernames? When you gain access, think, what credentials might be stored here? What other systems can I reach? And how do I maintain persistence? This thinking develops through practice and studying how others think. Read penetration testing reports, hack the box write-ups, and bug bounty disclosures to see how experienced hackers approach problems. The cybersecurity field is massive, and trying to learn everything simultaneously is why you make no progress. You're jumping between web apps, network pen testing, malware analysis, cloud security, without going deep on anything. Pick one area and get good before branching out. If you like web application security, focus exclusively on that for three to six months. Master Burp Suite, learn OWASP Top 10, practice on Port Sweater Academy. If you prefer network penetration testing, focus on that. Master Nmap, learn privilege escalation, practice on network-focused hack-the-box machines. Once you're competent in one area, expand. Trying to learn everything means you'll be mediocre at everything instead of good at something. The job market rewards specialization way more than general knowledge. The reason you can't hack isn't because you lack tools or haven't watched enough tutorials. It's because you're approaching this backwards, trying to run before you walk. You're trying to exploit systems before understanding how they work and using advanced techniques before mastering basics. The fix is simple, but not easy. Go back to fundamentals. Spend a month learning networking until you can explain TCP IP in your sleep. Spend another month on Linux until the command line feels natural. Then, and only then, start with basic tools and simple vulnerable machines. Progress feels slow at first, but you'll build a foundation that lets you understand what you're doing instead of copying commands. This is how professionals learned, and it's how you need to learn to get good instead of staying stuck at beginner level forever. If you like the way I break this stuff down, and you actually want to learn hacking the right way, then check out Cyberflow's Academy, my private community. Inside, you get full step-by-step -step courses on ethical hacking, bug bounty, web hacking, 
OSINT, Python, C++, and reverse engineering. Plus a private Discord where you can ask me anything and learn alongside people already getting insane payouts. You also get all my cyber docs, the cheat sheets, workflows, recon templates, OSINT checklists, exploit notes, and practical challenge-based labs that actually force you to apply the skills plus the $1,000 playbook that shows you how to make your first grand from hacking. And we include all my tools and setups, so your machine is ready from day one. If you want all that, courses, labs, playbooks, everything, it's in the first link in the description. See you inside.